So uh, it's uh, our seventh year uh, anniversary. So happy birthday to us. Um, we opened the practice on the 1st of August 2016. So it's been seven years and uh, that the practice has been running. Um, we celebrated uh, yesterday um, with a, a staff breakfast. Um, and one of the things that I that I uh, gave everyone was um, uh, a list of scriptures, which I have uh, gleaned from Proverbs, which all talk about work. So, so um, I'll share it uh, with you um, in the comments section. So, so I went through Proverbs and have and have uh, pulled out every proverb. Of uh, of the Bible that that talks about uh, work in in the book of Proverbs. My favourite and which has uh, been quite a, a help in these past seven years um, has been Proverbs chapter twelve verse eleven. It says, um, "He who tills his land or." He who works his land shall have plenty of bread, but he who chases fantasies is void of understanding. The Another proverb which is parallel to it is one who works his land will have an abundance of food, but one who chases fantasies will have his full of poverty. That's to, uh, Proverbs 28 verse 19. So, so what, what I... Um, received from this was that I just needed to work the land. I didn't have to I didn't have to determine every outcome. So my job was to work and it was God's job to provide. So I want to just thank uh, my father in heaven for his faithfulness and always being there for me for establishing the practice for helping us through the difficult times for being the the source and you know being uh, our light as we as we walk the journey um, so here's to another seven years and I uh, bless everyone who's listening to this uh, in your work may may you find the, the, the sweet spot may you find purpose in your work and may your your work become something that you uh, that you find life giving. Um, just yeah, wanted to wanted to mention another thing that has really blessed me has been the realization that that uh, men and women are different, and therefore that we we see work and we experience work differently um, so in the bible in genesis it says that adam was taken from the the dust of the of the the earth he was made from the dust he was made from the earth so he came out of the ground and then he was then uh, given the task to work the ground um, but eve was made from adam and so there is a connection that Adam has to the earth, which is different to, to the way Eve has to to the earth. So, women uh, have a much more uh, emotionally and relation relational intu intuitiveness, intuition. Um, men are are more practical, um, and and the, those differences. Are meant to complement one another and to work together. So, so I yeah I just want to honor the women in uh, in the practice that have uh, that have been on the journey and have supported me, especially uh, my wife, Sarah. Uh, I really appreciate and honor you and your role that you've played in the practice. Um, Sarah has she invested. And she was our main investor, uh, my wife, and so the practice is largely due to to her uh, 
her seed that she sowed. So thank you, Sars. All right. Bless everyone.